What up, everybody? This is your boy, Theo Pence here. Make sure you subscribe on YouTube so you don't miss any Run Your Race content. What up, everybody? This is your boy, Theo Pinson here with another special episode of Run Your Race with my boy, AJ Richardson, who is not here again. His ass getting fined again. I'm getting tired of this shit. We about to ask for a replacement. We about to bring Hong ass on here or something. I don't know. But, hey, y'all already know, I got a very, very special guest here. Literally like a brother from another mother. North Carolina bred. Homie for life. Call him all the time, laughing, giggling, all that shit. My boy, Devontae Graham. My dog. What's up with it? Hey, I appreciate you coming on. Again. Uh, I had a little Casamigos, so Again. I'm feeling good. Yeah, yeah. This is number two. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. We did one, but the Wi-Fi was all fucked up, so we doing another one, just for everybody to know. But um, listen, DT, I know you've seen a couple of you. I know you ain't watched the pod, but I know you see a couple <laughs> clips. How you know that? You not watching the pod. <laughs> Come on, bro. I know you. <laughs> you wear your hat back. You still wearing snapback. I mean, uh, fitted hats. <laughs> Nobody wears those no more details. I know. That's why I do. <laughs> oh Got to be different, bro. I like all that. Time. I like that, though. I like that. Uh, but here we go. As you know, in Run Your Race, we like to go from high school, college, to the league. And we just like to talk about everybody has different races, different ways of getting to where they want to get to, regardless if it's basketball, business side, whatever. And I think you got a really unique story. I think um, just coming from, uh, first of all, go ahead and talk about yourself. Where you from? Just talk about how you start, when you started, what age was it that you started playing basketball and mm -hmm. what made you want to get into it and all that type of stuff. Uh, I started playing when I was four. That's why mm -hmm. I wear number four. Um, my mom, I mean, she just kind of rolled the ball out there for me. Mm -hmm. um, and then my my grandpa's had a goal in the backyard. My grandma had a goal in, her, in the backyard. So I used to just love playing. And um, it was something just to stay out of hanging with the people who was in my neighborhood, to be honest. Yeah. So uh, that's really what, what started it. Did you have, were you about to play any other sport? I did. I played football. I played baseball. You was nice? I was nice at football. What position? <laughs> we went over this, yeah. I was what, what, what quarterback. Position? I told you, remember I was Lamar before Lamar. Uh, I mean, let's go ahead and pump the brakes a little bit. I'm serious, bro. Have you always been, you always, you was always short? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> what you thought I was just tall and then became short or something? I don't know what happened. I was, I was super short, actually. No, there's a lot of, I was five, a, six. There's a lot of, oh shit. I'm all right, I'll center it now. Y'all got me. I, there's a lot of people who get tall. They're tall first. They start out tall. And they and then, start off tall and they, they just stay there. And they say, hold on now. Yeah. You short as hell. Yeah. You supposed to be one of the short ones. That might have been you. I don't know. I was, I was always short. It's tough. It's tough. One but you was a dog, though. I was a dog. You was a Five, dog. Five, six, dog. Here you Besides go. 13. I hear you. When did you decide uh, that you were going to play basketball? Just you weren't going to play football. When did you, when'd you pl start playing football? I started playing football. I don't even know. We call it Mighty Mike. Mighty Mike. Mm, so yeah, I was yeah, definitely heard about it. Seven, eight. When did you stop playing? In high school. High school. Okay. Yeah. Maybe two. Right. Guys were bigger than you. Yeah. Yeah. See, yeah. that's and what they the shortness. Told me I, they that's told me I couldn't be the quarterback. So. Oh yeah, that's when you. I was wasn't like, doing that. I'm not doing it no more. Yeah. I feel that. I yeah. feel that. I tried to play in college too. Fun fact. You tried to what? I tried to play football in college. Why is that? Um, at the time, Kansas needed help, and I felt like I was the savior. So, what, wait a minute. We go. We just got to address <laughs> this now. <laughs> so, what time was it? Like, was it nighttime and you was drunk and you said this, or what? No. Why it was you... daytime. I went to Bill Self and asked him, could I play football? And how'd that conversation He go? said, if you play football, you can't play basketball. <laughs> <laughs> I would have been like, hit the portal. <laughs> the portal. So that ended the that portal. there. Yeah, it was yeah. ended that right there. Yeah. What man? God, that makes no sense though. I just be wanting to do shit for yeah. no reason. Clearly. I don't know why. Clearly. Yeah. All right. Well, let's go and get back to high school. See, Jesus, you just topic. you just took a whole <laughs> I that was just stupid. I don't know. Y'all gonna have a lot of editing that. to do. Yeah. But um 
You have played for a very renowned AU program mm. called the Garden of Road Bulldogs. Mm -hmm. Man, talk about that. How'd you get into that? Um, I was playing rec ball, mm -hmm. and one of the my coach, Coach Coleman. Shout out, Coach Coleman. Shout out, Garden of Road. Shout out, Garden of Road. Um, Had a lot of battles. A lot of battles, but we're gonna get into that too. But he seen me playing. And he said, I did some move, boom, boom, boom. I went and laid the ball up with my left hand, and that just blew him away. I guess we was nine years old. He was like, I ain't never seen nobody yeah. smooth like that. So he went up to my mama, asked if I had a- See, I, this is how this, this how I know we're going to struggle through this pod. Why? You out here lying. You know he didn't come to you and say it was smooth like that. I swear, this is a real story. He said your layup was smooth like that. Yes. Here we go. I bink, bink, went left, laid it left. I believe you. He went Go up ahead. to my mama and asked, who do I play for? And she mm -hmm. said, nobody. Like, that's his team. And she said, I want you to come come play for my team. So I went and tried out. Well, I didn't really try out, but. You was already on. I was team. already on the team. So I just went and played. And you was cooking. From there, it was history. Yeah. Took everybody's spot. Who was on your team on that Garden Road team? When I first got there? Yeah. Uh, the only person you probably know is uh, Quentin Ray. Uh-huh. You, you know Quint? Sound familiar. <laughs> Don't know if I know him, know him, but it sound familiar. Nah, we was nah, bro. So you not that good. You wouldn't know nobody from that from that team. First but of all, when what we class got, did you come out in? Thirteen. Thirteen. Oh, okay. Yeah, but yeah. done. Yeah. We just smacked them y'all. No, you was not. We just smacked them y'all, bro. And you played with like four different teams. I kept changing y'all names and. No, I played for like. Three teams. All right, what I said, but it was the same program. <laughs> Three different names. I played with CP. Yep. I played with D1 Sports, and I played with what team called uh, Kingdom Athletes what when happened, I was 14. What happened to the Greensboro Warriors? I never played for the Greensboro Warriors. Uh -huh. I wish I played for the Warriors, because uh -huh. they was nice, and they was whooping y'all. Well, I know that for a fact, because they ran North Carolina. They did not. It's cap. We can make a call right now. You're going to make a biased call. That would be a biased call, yeah, but still. With, hey, listen, the Greensboro Warriors are the best team in North Carolina. That's not true. When they were, you just told me one person on your team that I would even know. That was when I was nine. You played you Garden know, Roll all the way through 17. Yes. Where were y'all when you were 17? What do you mean? Like the, uh, like the. Uh, Adidas. Oh, okay. Y'all yeah. always been Adidas. Yeah, we right? always been Adidas. Okay, so talk about. Um, you played with Isaiah Hicks. Yeah. He played with us. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, he was a dog. Anton Gill. That was nice. Lefty, Louisville, nice. Nebraska. That was nice. I'll take that back. Yeah. We, that was a good team. We had some. That was a good team. Dita Circuit, but good team. Yeah. It's different. Whatever. You know that. But go ahead and talk about um, a very special woman in your life, your mother, um, how coming up, young age, mm. and fighting through that, and it's been tough. Okay. So. Uh, for those of y'all who don't know the story, my mom had me when she was 14. Um, very, very strong woman in my very. life, obviously. Um, raised me and my sister. Um, to this day, still does everything for us. Um, and you wouldn't even know the things that she's going through because of just how strong she is and uh, how she handles everything, kind of, you know, uh, it 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 makes you appreciate how much she did when we were so when we were younger and we just didn't know what was going on. But um, she she's just a solid person, and I think uh the way she is and the way my grandmother is is a testament to you know how I am and how you know I go about life, mm -hmm. especially with my sister. So uh, we all like. The three amigos, me, my sister, and my mama. So, uh, shout out, shout out to Dewana King, man. That's a fact. Shout out, Miss Dewana. Listen, man, that's a that can definitely strike, push you to another level. You know, I since I've known you, you've always had that dog in you. I know that has been a driving force having your mother uh, at a young age. Get mm -hmm. you, seeing her raise you and your sister. Uh, at that age and be as strong as she was, you wouldn't know anything was wrong because she 
she just did what she had to do. Mm-hmm. So now that you doing what you have to do to take care of her and your family, like that, that has to feel good and and uh it's definitely inspiring to see. I'm not gonna Appreciate lie. But that, um so you went to Broughton High School to start off with, and then you go to Brewster. Brewster. Okay. Boy, what a transition that is. <laughs> Nah, that was, I think that was the hardest time of my life right there. Oh, no, 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 no. Listen, I'm telling you that is. That is a transition, (laughs) my boy. Yeah. Talk about that. Yeah. So being at home and being 10 minutes down the street from whatever I needed to. um, Being with mama. Right. Yeah. Mama's boy, obviously. And having to go all the way to New Hampshire. Whew. Bro. First of all, I had to go there because I was originally committed to App State and they wouldn't let me out of my letter of intent. So I had to go to prep school mm-hmm. in order to get out of it. Mm-hmm. So if I would have never did that, I would have never had to go there. But I think that made me better. Obviously, everything happened for a reason. So mm-hmm. I don't never wish nothing to go back and for sure. But I'd do it all over again if I had to. But it was so cold. Really? It's a lake out there called Lake Winnipesaukee. The campus in Brewster and everything was beautiful. Wait, 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 wait. Lake what? <laughs> it's called Lake Winnipesaukee. Sound like a drink. He <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he had one too many this one. Uh, time is it on. <laughs> I've been doing it here. All man. right, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Wait, like, like, hey, Lake Winnipesaukee. Wait, 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 let me get that Winnipesaukee. <laughs> Winnipesaukee on the rocks. Yeah, on the rocks. Three cubes. <laughs> hey, bro. But it was cold. First of all, hey, listen, I'm going to keep it a buck. New Hampshire, bro. Yeah. But y'all had a squad, though. We definitely had a squad. Y'all had some. <laughs> start, start with Brewster, though, because Brewster, uh-huh. you was getting busy. Yeah. Like. And I was the no name on the team. Yeah. Yeah. You was going crazy. Right. So you just only had app at the time. I had App East East Carolina and Western Kentucky. It was like mm-hmm. my I had Murray State too, actually. Really? But you could have been Ja before Ja. Ooh. But or it, Isaiah oh Isaiah Cannon was before you. Yeah. So you would have been Yeah. I see that. I see but, that. But now you went to a bigger school. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You got so a bigger my... bag. <laughs> <laughs> But Brewster, let's get back to Brewster. <laughs> that's why it's hard to do a power. We well, just well, laugh the whole damn time, yeah, right? But that's why it's good. <laughs> yeah, for sure. But Brewster, uh huh, y'all was nice. It was nice. Donovan Mitchell, Isaac Copeland, yeah, uh, Jonah Bolden, mm-hmm. Jared Terrell. Um, who else we had? Chris got kicked off the team. We can kind of count Chris. Don't count it. Don't count them. No. Count okay. Well, that was that it. was uh, the starting lineup right there. That's anyway, tough. so that's a tough five right there. Yeah, we end up winning the the natty and all. Hey, listen, like you said, that's like a low key blessing in disguise because at the end of the day, you are challenging yourself, mm-hmm. getting better, playing against guys who Donovan Mitchell, yeah. guys like Isaac Copeland, like yeah. every single day. And playing with guys like that, it helped you to that next level as mm-hmm. you went to Kansas or whatever. But um, you did get your jersey retired at Broughton. That's big time. Appreciate um, you. That's I got my jersey retired too. So yeah, congrats, big here. Yeah. Anybody else in here got their jersey retired? <laughs> nope. <laughs> but hey, listen, that's big time. Um, what went into you going to Kansas though when you got the Brewster? How that uh, recruit process happen? Um, cause you probably had dumb schools after that. I had, I had a, a lot, but it was just Coach Self. It was he was that was my first visit, and from the jump, I had already knew I was going, but uh-huh. I couldn't commit because I had did that with App State. Oh and, yeah, yep. Yeah. So my mom was like, "You're not committing." Like uh-huh. she was like. I think you should go here, but I don't, we're going to go see some other schools. So I went to go see NC State, who 
<laughs> Went to go see Virginia. <laughs> poo poo. Virginia wasn't it either. You they took me to a horse racing Virginia. event. Who? On my visit. Virginia? Yes. Nah. That's tough. Tony Bennett? Yeah. He Tony, was, you got to do better. He wasn't there, but. Who was it? Um, I want to say it was Aunt Gill. Ain't that, ain't that? Tony Bennett, the head coach, boy. I know that. Aunt Gill was your. Was my. Your host. Yes. He took you to a horse, horse racing <laughs> event on your visit. I was like, hey, listen, after this horse racing event, take me to the airport. I am gone. I am not coming here. And it's because of you. <laughs> because of you. Yeah. Yeah. My bad, yes. bro, but that was a true That's story. a bad one. That's, That's what made one. me not go. So you went to Kansas first. You yep. still took two other visits. Back to back to back. Like, it was like a Friday to Sunday. Then it was like a Tuesday to Thursday. Then it was like Friday to... And that whole time on the last two, you're like, I'm going to Kansas. Yeah. I don't even know why I'm even here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I told somebody at NC State that I was going to Kansas. <laughs> As you should, because state sucks. Uh, I was like, but nah. God, leave, bro. What you want to talk about the App State situation? What the hell I mean, happened? I, what with like, like how did? Because I committed, I signed to go. Because like yes. that was my only. Yes. So I'm like, all right, I'm going to school for free. Cool. I get the hoop. Yeah. I'm excited. Boom. Junior year, then senior year, I get the cooking. We playing in the um, the Glaxo. Yep. John Wall Classic now, but. And I'm playing against, I played against Cat, Barber, and I played against Cat, Tamp, Big yeah, Cat. Yeah. And I'm like, bro. I shouldn't be going to this school. I'm like, if they going to these schools, yeah. I can, yeah. I could definitely play with these guys. And they wasn't having it. So then I called, yeah, and I'm like, um, I think I want to reopen my recruiting process. And they like, what? It's like, um, just think about it and call us back in a couple of days. So I hung up the phone. I'm like, tell me to call him back. I told yeah. my mom, like, she told me to call him back. <laughs> <laughs> but I was like, I already know, like, yeah. I just told you what I wanted to do. So I, yeah. the next day I called again, like, yeah. I, he was like, oh no, we're not letting you leave. So really they just needed time to see what they was gonna tell me. Yeah. So he said, we ain't letting you leave. And I'm like, so what does that mean? Like, like I have to come now? Or he was like, yeah, pretty much you signed. So you have to come. And I was like, well, I'm not coming. I'm gonna be honest, if I was a coach, I probably would have said the same shit. Yeah. I'd be like, got his ass. They was ass. bad. Yeah, they was mm-hmm. bad. Got his ass. <laughs> they got, uh-huh. Yeah. Because they get they getting a new job off of you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They got fired the next year. Because they lost you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sayonara. What Drewski say? Sayonara. Play the clip. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, uh, we got good and bad news. Good news, we got your payment, buddy. Bad news, uh, they gave you life. <laughs> Sayonara. <laughs> hey, but you get to Kansas. Yeah. Jesus. One of the blue bloods. Mm-hmm. You got Carolina. Then you got Duke. Ah, you in Kansas and Duke right there. <laughs> y'all right there competing. <laughs> Where you get this from? How many natties y'all got? Is this statistics? How many natties y'all got? Is this statistics? How many natties you got? I don't have any. Oh, we know man. you got two. How many you, know, you got? You three? Got you got three? How you many? don't got a natty? You won every time Let's you take was a drink to that. Let's take a drink to that. It's okay. I was almost there, but I went back to back. <laughs> hey, bro. Shout out to the gang. Yeah. We do this. Mm-hmm. Damn. <laughs> we, we drink to that. Drink to that. But damn, you get to Kansas, a blue blood. I know you felt the, a little bit of pressure. You coming from Raleigh. You go to Brewster. You like, I'm nice. Mm-hmm. And you come in, you see Frank Mason. Mm-hmm. You got a dog in front of you. Mm-hmm. I mean, you got a dog, dog. Yeah. Listen, how'd you feel when you first got on campus? Nervous as shit. Had to be. Was super... You still wearing hats like that? No, nah, I wasn't wearing I just started this. Carry on. See what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> hey, yo. My fault, my fault, Come my on, fault. Come on, bro. Let's You're not going to get my through fault, high with you, bro. My fault, bro. You want me to turn around and make you feel better? Uh, that might have made it worse. You like little Bow Wow. 
<laughs> Are we doing a podcast or is this a comedy show? <laughs> what are we doing? Hey, listen, 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 Linda. All right, go ahead. You get to Kansas, you had to be nervous as hell. Because when I got to Carolina, I was nervous as yeah. hell, boy. I'm going to tell you a story how nervous I was. Yeah, go ahead. Boy, I got to, um, I got to, um, first day, mm -hmm. we had Carolina camp. And I'm sitting there, and me, Joel, and Justin, we think we hot shit. Freshman coming in, top 10 class. Yeah. I think we was top five, actually. Top three, maybe. We coming in, there's a shoot machine out there before the camp started. We like, let's get on the gun. We on there, we cashing out, boom, boom, boom. We shot 75% as a group. We printed the shit out <laughs> on the shoot machine. It showed it to the coaches. They like, look at <laughs> Then first practice, we getting smoked by the cooked. upper class. Yeah. Oh my God, bro. God, college was, that freshman year, boy, is bro, tough. My tough. first. My first week, like you said, we had that same, we had that camp. Mm -hmm. My first two nights, uh, we stay in the dorms. I get pink eye. I'm talking about like my eyes woke, like I look like uh, I look like a fish, like mm -hmm. fish eyes. Mm -hmm. So I go to the my first ever camp, and we do like the autograph signing. So I got shades on, so can't nobody, bro. People tweeting at me like. Monte Graham think he the shit. He got shades on. He the only person with shades on at the camp. Like, who does he think he is? I'm like, damn. Like, why y'all own me like that? I'll tweet back to do. I'm like, bro, I got a pink eye. <laughs> you tweeted back and told him what the what the diagnosis was. <laughs> I was nervous, bro. I didn't want the fans to hate me. Like, that's how nervous I was. I I quote tweeted to do. I think yeah. like, yo, I got a pink eye, bro. It's not like that. Like, There's so many things that could wander through people's heads. Of why you had pink eye. I just told you. I put No, no, they, they didn't know that though. You know what I'm saying? You know there's multiple ways to get pink eye. Well, it was a bad pillowcase. That's what it was. There's no. so many ways that shit could happen. No. You do not need to respond. That's how you do you I as did. a freshman. Yes, I was nervous. That's you my didn't nervous have your media part. training. No, I nothing. had nothing. Jesus Christ. Nothing. So, damn. This is better <laughs> than the first one because. That is your drunk. Terrible first two days. Yeah. Jesus. All right. So you get there. You have your first practice. Did y'all, did we have summer? We have summer practices mm -hmm. then. Mm -hmm. Your first summer practice, how'd that go? Um, I just remember, like you said, I was with a dog. So I was with Frank. Yeah. So coaches and them was trying to see how I was going to respond. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. So I had to, you know, show that I wasn't scared of the nigga. Yeah. But Frank, if you know Frank, Frank a little intimidating. Yeah. He ain't that big. Yeah. But if you look him, look mm -hmm. at him at first, you'd be like, mm -hmm. like, nah, I don't want to approach him. Like, mm -hmm. boy, look kind of crazy. For sure. Look, but wow. first practice, we was going at it though, for sure. Like, it was like just five on five. It wasn't even a practice. It was just like, just throw bump. the ball out and let's go. I like so, that. I was going at him, he going at me, obviously doing his thing, everybody talking shit, but I wasn't really saying that because I was a freshman, I couldn't say too much, but I held it down. I held That's it down my first, and I think I got a little respect Solid from them, right you know what I'm saying, so. What was your welcome to college moment? <laughs> oh. Let's see, threw me off with that one. My welcome to college? Oh. So we have a meeting as soon as you get there, like yep. team meeting. First, when everybody get on campus, team meeting. Hey, how you doing? You know, I'm Coach Self. Know y'all yeah. know me. Yeah. The hell? Boom. Yeah. I'm here. He go like, this is me. This is y'all. He was like, I don't move from right here. <laughs> I'm not coming to you. I'm not. He's like, all 15 of y'all, you either going to come here. Or you can leave. We all just like, damn. He like, I don't care what you did in high school. Straight like that. I don't care if you was a McDonald's All-American. I don't care. Everything start over from ground zero. Mm -hmm. Just because you started last year, don't mean you starting this year. If you come in and you play better than him, you my point guard. 
I don't think Frank gonna let you do that, but and like he said it just like that. Yeah. But we'll see what happens. Well, he's just going around the room telling everybody, like, I don't care what y'all did last year or the season before this, high school, the whole new season. So get your That's mind, get so your mind tough. right. Get your mind right. That is tough. Yeah. Bro, it is it is crazy how I don't even recognize your coach that recruited you when you get on campus. I had no idea who Coach Williams was no more when you got on campus. <laughs> oh, you were such a nice, yeah. genuine guy. <laughs> nope, not no more. Gotcha. Gotcha. <laughs> got there. Get on the line. Mm-hmm. We're running. Mm-hmm. Oh, my gosh, bro. Nah, Coach Williams, great guy. I'm just, I'm just. Yeah. My goodness, bro. Definitely is, different people. With no, you. it's different. Once you, they got you once now. you're there, you're there. Once you're there. You got to work. Mm-hmm. But that's what I respect about Coach Williams. I'm pretty sure Coach Self the same way. Mm-hmm. You got to earn your spot. Yeah. Regardless of who you are. Yeah. And you ain't just going to be given nothing. For sure. And that's why those programs are at the top of exactly. everybody else. So you get to your first college game. Pretty sure it was the exhibition game. So it ain't really nothing crazy. Mm-hmm. Oh, was the, the job, was the classic going on when you got, got there? Mm-hmm. Who y'all play? My freshman year, yeah. Kentucky. Oh, whooped. Dirty ball. This is when they had the, the, Platoon. the platoons. They yes. With the platoon system. The, the platoon system. That was another welcome to college. Hello. That was like welcome. our third game of the season. Got smacked. Dirty ball. But that, that had to be a welcome to college <sighs> for show. Sure. I went to die for a ball. I think I dove for a ball. And me and I think one of the twins hit each other. Boom. Yeah. My whole shoulder. Dislocated. Uh, it didn't dislocate, but it won't right. Went numb. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It was, mm-hmm. it couldn't move no more. Yeah. But yeah. listen, we had to, we came to practice the next day. There were no basketballs. Oh, y'all had practice the next day? We, lo- we lost by 30. We had <laughs> practice the next day. <laughs> I, couldn't, I couldn't move my shoulder, though. Yeah. So I didn't have to run. Mm-hmm. And Coach Self turned and looked at me and was like, why is he not on the line? And the trainer had to jump in like, Coach, he, he can't. He was like, well, put him on the bike. <laughs> yeah, that's what I would have said. Get your ass on the bike then. You don't need your hey, arm on the bike. I was on the bike just pedaling. <laughs> Everybody running. He was like, y'all just going to run until I get tired. Oh, my gosh. I hate that line. Yeah. That line tough right yeah. there. So you get to um, your freshman year. You playing. You're not getting the minutes that you start getting. Mm-mm. What 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 was something that you had to, what was a down moment in college that you had to fight through to, that was like the switch, like, okay, this is what I got to do to get to where I want to get to? Um, a down moment or, or a switch to be like- Or just tell me a switch. I think the switch was, at the end of my freshman year, we had lost to Wichita State mm-hmm. in like the second round. Mm-hmm. So, but I had like a little breakout game. I had probably had like 20 or something like that. Mm-hmm. Um, and then it was like a week later, I'm in the gym, I'm shooting, I'm just chilling. And Coach Self walk in and he like, you should never not start another game while you're here at Kansas. Oh, you up. And I was like, Okay, so he think real. Yeah, he think real highly of me. Yeah. So, we still got Frank. We still, you know, what I'm saying, we're gonna get McDonald's All Americans. We're mm-hmm. gonna do that. So he think I should be a starter. So say less. Yeah. Let me. Man, this start. Let me lock in. You and Frank start going crazy. Yeah. Y'all start going real crazy. Yeah. Shout that out Frank, court. man. Shout out Frank. Yeah. Shout out Frank Mason, man. Real dog. Play the clips. Them Play two in the, the back. Clips. <laughs> them two in the backcourt with dogs. I mean. How y'all let two short guys like that? They about the same size as this camera crew. <laughs> and they was out there cooking. I'm like, damn. Hey. I'm, it's crazy. We never played y'all. Never. I want to play y'all so bad. Never played y'all. I asked, could we go to y'all? I asked, could we go to y'all? NC State. It's nothing you we wanted to do. do. Yeah, I want to play. First of all, I just want to do it because I was at the crib. I would have had 100 people there. That's, That's the only reason. You definitely would have a lot of people we there. still would have won. Don't get it twisted. Whatever. But... Y'all had a squad though. So you get there. You always came up short in the tournament. 
Always came up short. <laughs> we gonna get there. Stop laughing. I'm to... Oh shit. <laughs> Keep this in there. This is real. I'll be honest. I got tears. All right. No more. No more. We we get it. I didn't win an Addy. No, no. I wasn't even going there, though. You said I came up short every time. I was about to get to the run you had, though, to get there. Because y'all had an unbelievable run. Listen. <laughs> Let's just skip the tourney talk. How about that? <laughs> skip the tourney talk. You got to the Natty, though. No. I went to the Final Four. We lost to Villanova. They hit 27 threes in one game. Unbelievable. They hit 27 threes in one half. Play the clip. <laughs> Show all these clips of them just bang, bang, bang. It was like 22 to 4 to start the game. Dante DiVincenzo became lottery. <laughs> <laughs> and man, all of them. Uh, What's the big man name? Jalen, uh, J- yeah. Jalen was going crazy. Uh, Amari Spellman. <laughs> Amari he might have been the best big man in the he world. He hit six threes, I think. He was going crazy. Udoka Azabuki was an <laughs> elefante. <laughs> For definition, an elefante is somebody who cannot guard. He could not guard nobody. I'm looking right at the camera. Show the clip. He was getting his ass busted. No, nah, don't do my boy Doak like that, though. He was, listen. Don't he do was that. Don't do caught. that, though. Doak was... Doug was, Doug, Doug was him, I ain't ran into a pick and pop all year. <laughs> Y'all was getting pick and pop to death. Damn. It was like popping to the corner, though. It was, it was so, I don't it know. It was crazy. They was drive kick swinging that mug. Drive was, kick swing swing. Bro, they, yeah. they were so, bro, I have never seen us yeah. more structured in a warm-up in my life. They was doing pivots. In, in warm-ups. Warm they did have the best footwork, though. They footwork they was They were still under control. Crazy. They never, they they never went to the... To the goal and jumped off one foot. Fundamentally sound. Yeah. Y'all just y'all had an off night too. Yeah, we did. Y'all had an off night. Cause y'all could shoot it. It was just it was one of them games. Y'all had one of them games. Cause y'all, you had some dogs. You, Malik. Yeah. Uh Shvi. Yeah. Doke in the middle. Lagero Who's the Vic. four? We we played four guards. Who's the other guard with you? Lagero got? Vic. Athletic. Yeah. yeah. Bow legged, but athletic. Yeah. <laughs> he could yeah. jump. He he had bounce. But he put the yeah, Marcus Garrett. Yeah, we only played like seven people though. Yep. Oh, y'all was definitely not going deep in the bench. Yeah. <laughs> y'all was not going deep in the bench. That was that the only year happening. Coach Self let us do like 30 minute practices. He had to. They we did nobody. that my senior year. We went eight deep. Yeah. I remember one practice, we beat Tennessee at Tennessee. Came out, we won. The guys who didn't play was playing and they had phone rolls out for the start. Yeah, five. yeah. I felt so, I felt like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, <laughs> just just go shoot free throws. Yeah. Hey, you go shoot free throws. Y'all relax. I said, appreciate it, coach. I won your natty last year. Appreciate that. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. But you came up short. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> but hey, fuck all that. You get to the league. Yeah. <laughs> you get drafted. Uh-huh. Talk about that. How many workouts you do? Sixteen. Sixteen. Yeah, was up there with me. Yeah, I ain't get drafted. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I did like fifteen workouts for sure. I'm gonna have to talk to Ty. What's going on? <laughs> that's crazy. You must not have been cooking like I was cooking. I was in my cooking, workouts. bro. Nah, that's some bullshit, <laughs> bro. I was cooking in my workouts. That's what's crazy. Hey, I was real cooking talk. In my workout. out. Sixteen of them things. So, hey, listen, I remember. I remember, did you have like a crazy travel schedule, like one segment that was crazy ever at uh, any point? I don't remember. I don't remember. I just. I'm going to tell you one. It was I a had. lot. I had one when I was, went, I was in Brooklyn. Yeah. And I had the Lakers the next day. <laughs> you had to go to LA the next day. I had Brooklyn. Listen, Brooklyn, the Lakers was the next day. I had a back to back with the Lakers, <laughs> Los Angeles. Shit was nutty. Oh my God. But um, I ended up going to Brooklyn though, so it ended up working out, I guess. See, on the, t- on the team. You must have cooked. You must have cooked that. that. You can say out. that to me, not that undrafted. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but look, once you end up doing 16 workouts, yeah. 
You was cooking. You got drafted by Charlotte. Did you cook in Charlotte? Was that your best workout? <laughs> I didn't even work out for Charlotte. I'm tired of this shit. <laughs> this is the tenth time this shit done happened, bro. We done so many positive dudes. And why are y'all drafting people? Y'all didn't even work out. <laughs> what are you doing the workouts for? Um, probably they they picks was gone. They traded up to get me actually. I got, I, I got drafted by Atlanta. I got drafted by Atlanta. They did? traded up. They traded. So you got traded like Mikael did on draft on night. draft night. It's tough. So you had an Atlanta hat on at the party. No. You knew you was going to Charlotte. No. I didn't. My uncle came to the You know what? Let's let you tell the story. You you, okay. you had a party. I had what a party. Happened? Uh-huh. A draft party at the hotel. We had just beat Duke in a uh, Elite Eight. Came up short, final four. Came up short. <laughs> we beat Duke in the Elite Eight. So I went to Duke and threw my party. Just to be a little disrespectful. Get drafted. We going crazy. Oh, we going to Atlanta. Okay, we five hours away from the crib. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. One of my homies like, hey, yo. Like 10 minutes later. You, it say you going to Charlotte. <laughs> you up then, though. Oh, the party started oh, after the that. the party started. Well, my then. uncle had the hat. He like, what? So he gave me the hat, put the hat on, took my little pictures. I'm like, why my agent didn't call me and tell me this? I can't drink before it's fine no more. <laughs> or I might need to every time. This shit, great. Can I get a refill? Yeah, let's refill right quick before we finish. <laughs> so, Dite, you get to Charlotte. You are with the GOAT, Michael Jordan. How was that meeting him for the first time? But we, I walked in. Uh huh. I'm walking in the arena, and he's like walking around the corner. So like, we kind of like, damn, they're bumping to each other. Yeah. And I'm like, oh my bad. But I look up and I'm like, oh shit, yeah. Michael Jordan. <laughs> <laughs> he like, Devontae, what's up? Right, his whole hand took off. Yeah. Uh-huh. Like, uh huh. You know how many buckets that hand got? <laughs> <laughs> That. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Tough. All that. Yeah. Fade. I'm like, uh, bro. Go. I hear everybody on my phone. Hey, bro. I just met MJ. Yeah. And he knew who I was. My first name basis. Yeah. That's tough. I say that's really my homie right now. Like, yeah. That's tough. And he signed me. And then he signed you mm, to, to the, the Jordan, Jordan brand. And then your kick game went dummy. Come on now. Jordan Come on. brand. Come on now, low tops. Still need a deal, Joy Murray. <laughs> I've been wearing the for 18 goddamn years. <laughs> you, knew, but, you knew who been. Uh, the, the, come on, yeah. man. Shit, I don't know who rep it more than me. Yeah. But you get to Charlotte, you meet MJ. You there with Kimba Walker. Mm-hmm. Shout out Kimba, man. Man. When I talk about one of the guys. K Walk. K Walk is one of them guys. I was only oh, with you, K- you I was, was with him for with, yeah, a month was, and a half. I was with K Walk for a month and a half, and that is my guy. Your guy. Bro, great dude. Bro. Unbelievable person. He just let me stay at his house the other night. Yeah. That's crazy. Bro, unbelievable person, bro. Because you got a problem with catching flights. That's my flight got canceled in Charlotte. DT got the but worst. You- he got the worst luck with flights, bro. Yeah. Let's not talk about it. <laughs> I got stuck in Charlotte. Yeah. I had a room, though. Uh Uh-huh. I just said, okay, I'm going to get a room. Cool. I just hit him up. Like, hey, bro, I'm in the city. Like, flight got canceled. Where you at? I'm going to pull up on you. He's like, oh, I ain't there. You need a place to stay? I was like, no. But if you offering, I go to your house for a show. Yeah. He's like, yeah, go ahead. I said, send me the code. Text the code immediately. Gate code. I was like... Oh, yeah. This... Unbelievable person, bro. Oh, my gosh. Unbelievable. Shout out Kimball, man. He got on the pod after you when we was in New York. He got on the pod with us. So, shout out Kimba. My dog. So, you learned it from Kimba. Mm-hmm. Your rookie year, I remember, uh, did we play you in the G? You yes. Play... Yeah. Yes. Played you in the G. You was going up and down. Mm-hmm. Then you started to stick towards the end of the year. Mm-hmm. What, what, was the, what was the switch in the league? No, first of all, start, start with this. What was your welcome to NBA moment? My what? My welcome to NBA moment was uh probably like one of the first practices, and Marvin Williams. 
Mm. Shout out Marvin Williams Shout too. Shout out Marv. One of the real OGs. UNC legend for sure. UNC legend for sure. Um, hit me with a crazy scream, bro. Mm -hmm. I was out to practice the rest of the practice. I was probably out like three days. Damn. Like, first two possessions of live. You know, we warm up. We do our individual. Yeah, yeah. Then we do some team stuff. Then we get yeah. to live. Knocked you right out. Boom. Scream. That's a tough one. Like, damn. I got to start lifting. Yeah. I It'd hate be better lifting. better than that. Aspect. Yeah, but sure. I got to lift. I got to get stronger. So when did it click for you? When did that switch flip? Like, oh, yeah, I can, I can do this right here. Um, I think it was, I think it was my rookie year. I was actually, I got in the game one time because we had Tony Parker as well, and he didn't do back-to-backs. Mm -hmm. So I had got to play in the back-to-back. -back. And Kimba during the game, like, he like, hey, bro, like, like, play, play your game. Like, I've been, I'm watching you in practice. I'm watching you in the G League, like. You can hoop, my dude. Like, yeah. He was like, you keep trying to pass me the ball. He's like, no, just go score. Yeah. And he was like, I love playing with you. Like, I love, I don't know why you don't play more. Mm -hmm. Like, it's mid game. I'm yeah. like, oh, that was kind of like the coach self thing. Like, yeah. you feel me? I just needed some, some reinsurance, yeah. I yep. guess. And, mm -hmm. and that kind of like, yeah, took off from made there. me. Like, I bet. Okay. Shout out to Kimba again. Yeah. <laughs> You made Devontae Graham in the league. Gave him a little confidence. Now he thought he could just. I'm going to get into the story, but. What story now, bro? When we was in BK. <laughs> I was sick. Let's was... roll the clips, baby. I was sick as hell. When I. Oh. The 40 ball? You had 40 that night? Yes. I was pissed. Well, DT starts. He starts to stick. And then second year, you you take off. Mm -hmm. You take off second year. You get to the Baja. And not just Baja, Baja Blast, no Taco Bell. Jesus. You go crazy. You hit the game winner in New York in the garden, play the clip, play the clip. And then we play d and BK. I'm cooking. I got a good 12. <laughs> I got a smooth 12. I hit DT with an in and out. I get to the Baja with a off the glass uh, banker. Called it too. Hit a couple Tracy's. Uh, took Bismack to the basket. Hit him with a little body. Aaron one. But man, this, this play right here. Because you know, when you're trying to get into it, you're trying to stick. You want to collect some wins while you're playing. Yep. We was winning. I was playing well. My stint was over. Clearly, I'm not going in the game. <laughs> so I did well for I had a good plus minus. I started and I was in the positive. Bruh. I'm like, DT is only shooting threes, bruh. It's either threes or floaters. He ain't going to the layups or nothing. This man is sizing Joe Harris up the whole time. Play the clip. I am standing on the sideline yelling. Get up, get up, get up. Hey, huh, huh, huh. three, cash. I'm like, oh, my God. Dio just turned around. He just turned around. As soon as I shot it, though, not like after it went in, he's yelling, get up, get up. And I, uh-uh. You already got like 35. You already cooked. No, 37. That was that was the That was 40. Ball. Yeah. Oh, my God. I was sick as a dog. As soon as I shot it, he just put his head down and turned around. Freeze it on that part though when he's yeah. the ball is in the air and he turns. <laughs> but that, hey, listen, if it was anybody to do it, I was happy it was him. But damn, it hurt me. I'm not gonna lie. But I'm glad he went crazy. He did his thing, deserved every bit of it. DT, we gotta talk about it. Let's talk about the three-point contest. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know if we can find a clip. Yo, you definitely can find the clips. Hey, you yeah, you, found you a clip. can find the clips. Find a clip of yeah. DT. <laughs> hey, I'm hold on, right hold on. I got the red trench on. I'm like, go crazy, DT. So listen. <laughs> so listen. His family there. <laughs> Me, Simone there. Ty there. Sweating. Hey, 
Ty sweating. I'm sweating. <laughs> shit. I'm embarrassed. I was embarrassed as shit. I'm like, that's my colleague. Damn. Oh, we got to play the clip. Hey, this is the most nerve wracking I've been oh, it ever had, playing basketball. Bro, they, so everything good, everything good. I'm watching, the, I think two people went before me. First of all, I shot very bad. I didn't come in last. That's good. Who came in last here? Trey Young. Wow. So he shot worse than I did. That's good, then. And I airballed. I think my first shot was an airball. I don't know. I don't, my first shot was an airball. I listen, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm going to be completely, I'm going to keep it 100 with you. <laughs> I try to block that out of my life. I try to take that part of me supporting you. I try to block that first part out of my life. Because I said, I was the most, you was embarrassed. I probably was more embarrassed for you because they knew I was cheering for you. No, everybody, oh, oh, everybody was right there. No, no, hell no. Bro. I, nobody was there. I was the <laughs> only one sitting there like, come on, DT, let's do it. First shot, I don't know if it was air ball or off the side no, of the backboard. Was, no, the third shot was off the backboard. I said, <laughs> so, damn. How you re- I shot air ball. They're like, oh. How you recalibrate and do that? Look, I shot again. <laughs> it missed. And then I shot again. And then when it hit the side of the back, boy, I just remember the whole crowd like, oh, oh. shit. <laughs> Everybody in the crowd was like, oh, shit. Yeah, I I about, like, hey, DT, I about bro. stood up and said Mulligan. <laughs> Mulligan, Mulligan. Hey. <laughs> Let him start over. Start over. Start over. Start over. This is his first time. <laughs> this ain't good for TV. This ain't good we for gotta TV. We got to keep the ratings. Hey, D-Wade said on TV, he said, yeah, this is the nerves coming out because I've seen him shooting. He's a good shooter. Yeah. I would have been like, hey, listen, start over. I would have kicked the, I should have kicked the card over <laughs> and just caught some ruckus. Come on, you should have did something, I bro. I kicked the card over. They would have started some. the shit yeah. over. Like, they would have kicked me out. They would have right. gave you another shot. They would have gave me another shot. like, nah, Theo. <laughs> Let's give him another chance. Boy, I was embarrassed as shit for you. I had to take my jacket off. What? I had to take my what? jacket off. Why? I was, I was hot. Bro. <laughs> I was hot. I was so mad that you did that. I had a fit on. It was all right, bro. It won't. It's all good. Though, it won't that bad. Hey, it, was, it, was bad. Bad. It, it was bad. It was bad, but it won't that bad. It was you bad. You got to get invited to the shit like that. Yeah. That means you were shooting that ball. Yeah. I was, uh, yeah. But guess what, DT? Yeah, that was bad. Yeah, I won't ever get invited back. <laughs> hey, look, listen, if there's one thing that ain't gonna happen, you ain't getting invited back <laughs> to the three point contest. I won't ever get invited back. They, I don't care if you hit the most threes <laughs> in the first half of the season. <laughs> They're gonna play the first three shots. Don't do it. You too, you can't handle the pressure. I wouldn't do it. All right, let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and get to it though. After all that. <laughs> You get to the bag. What'd you sign for? <laughs> oh God. Let me take a drink. <laughs> Wait, don't tell us shit. What, bro? What'd you take? Oh what? my God, we're not gonna ever finish this. <laughs> What'd you sign for, DT? <laughs> What'd you sign for? <laughs> this, this is four years, four years, 46. Four year, 46. <laughs> if I hit right now out there, I thought it was three year thirty three. It was more than that. Oh yeah, guaranteed three thirty three. Now it's four for forty six. What did I do wrong? <laughs> what did I do wrong? I'm crying. It's some bullshit. You said you, you was making what last year? I think I made one point nine. <laughs> Make that in three days. <laughs> this is bullshit. I'm crying. <laughs> hey, bro. He said he got four for 46. <laughs> he five ten. <laughs> he can't. He don't shoot that for three. <laughs> Hey, don't even shoot that, huh? that man. That man shot off the backboard. <laughs> Three point contest. And the Pelican said 446. <laughs> oh, 
Man, oh. I was so, bro, I don't think you understand how happy I was, bro. <laughs> I was so happy for you, bro. I was like, damn. But then I called Ty right hat right <laughs> after. <laughs> I called Tyra Happy like, what I got? <laughs> <laughs> Trader kept deal. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, bro! Oh my god, bro! They gonna kick us out of here. <laughs> they gonna kick us out, bro. DJ, <laughs> I had to call Ty be like, what am I doing? What I got? What I got? What I got? What I got? What are we doing? Cause you on the roll, boy. You the roll, you the roll, Ty. You out here giving boys a bag. Uh, yeah, that's some bags this summer too. Hey, yeah. listen, we gonna get to that. <laughs> that ain't, that we ain't gonna get to that too. Ty going crazy. <laughs> Ty going crazy. We gotta get Ty on the pod. We should have had him just on with us. He would have been on his sweat though. <laughs> oh my god, this is gonna be one hell of a pod, bro. If that, y'all gotta watch the whole thing. <laughs> Of this podcast, cause this shit is funny, bruh. Oh my gosh. This is you ain't getting no real authentic pod other than my pod. <laughs> I promise you that. This is real life. This is real tears, bruh. This is not no eye drop. This is real. They gave him four for 46. <laughs> oh shit. That man went, hey, listen, bruh. I was so happy for you. God right, damn. That's big time. Talk about it. Where'd you find out? Where were you at? <laughs> <laughs> where were you at when this happened? I was I in Charlotte. I was, I was in bed crying. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Bro, I was in Charlotte, bro. I was at the crib. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was just chilling, playing Call of Duty like normal. Yeah. Stay on the duty. Yeah, and Ty called me. It's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, he talk all fast. They're going, uh, they're going to move you. They're going to move you. Uh, you're, going, you're going to New Orleans. You a Pelican. He's like, they're about to call you. They're about to call you. I'm going to hang up. They're going to call you. So he hung up, and then the next thing I know, Pelicans, uh, GM, Willie Green, called me like, how do you feel about being a Pelican? Yeah. I'm excited. God, yeah. thank you. Yeah. Thank you for the opportunity. Thank you for changing my family life. Mm-hmm. All that. So, who told you the number? Ty. Ty. Yeah. Yeah. What'd you do when you heard that? <laughs> yeah. Up. Uh, Take a shot. Casamigos. <laughs> Repo. <laughs> Talk to me. <laughs> Repo. We at? I yeah. know you was out that night. Easily. Absolutely. Yeah. Had to go. Had to go. So you get to New Orleans. Yeah. Zion was there. Zion was there, but he was hurt. Zion was hurt, though. But you was there with B.I., though. Mm-hmm. Talk about playing with B.I., man. B.I. is a special, special B. I. Talent, man. Shout out B.I., man. Shout out B.I., though. Special he one of them. One of them ones. One of them ones. He's one of them ones, man. And he don't say too much. He don't say at too all. much. I, I, like, I have went on record, and I have said he is one of the hardest players uh, to guard? that I've ever guarded. Because it's not even. I remember, I will never forget this. We play, and find, you can find a clip. We played him at Carolina, and I'm guarding B.I. He drives baseline, going left, and he shoots a pull-up. I have a great hand. He don't see me. Mm-mm. Cash. Mm-mm. Bottoms. Yes. B.I. elite. B.I. is elite. He don't see nobody when he pull up to shoot. Listen, he get to the Baja. And, but he passed, and he made everybody better. And yeah. he, great player. You know bro. what I'm saying? Great like, player. But, like, scoring, effortless. Mm-hmm. Like, he can not, sit down when he want to. You talking about defense? When he want to. When he want to. Be you my dude now. Nah. When he want to. But I ain't going to say. Just because of the length. Yeah, I ain't, ain't going to say you sit down. But, when he want to. You know, you might stick an arm out here yeah, and there. When he want to. But. I seen it. I, I seen a yeah, couple. Yeah, nah, I he will him lock him. in. He'll lock him in for sure. Bit. He'll lock in when he want to. For sure. So you get to the Pelicans. You, you take off there. You got the deal. How is it, what is your confidence level like? Because I, I've said this multiple times and people don't understand. When you get the bag, you get a certain level of freedom. You mm-hmm. get a certain level of, okay, I can be free now. I can go play my game. Yeah. How, do, 
How does that feel after you do that? Um, I think it was, it made me definitely more confident for sure. Yeah. Uh, cause I knew they wanted me to come in and just keep doing what I was doing. Mm-hmm. I was going to give me the rock, let me rock out. Um, so right, it was fun. I ain't even going to lie. New Orleans is the city. Shout out New Orleans. The city is different, but it's like a good different yeah. and it's real culture. For sure. And they support. They do things they way. They do things they way. Mm-hmm. And they don't think it's no other way. Exactly. Exactly. And Talk about that playoff series. Yeah. Y'all in Phoenix. It was up. So you've been to the playoffs every year. No, I didn't go last year. Oh. Missed it. Dang, first that time. was your first time. First time. I've been on. Four for five, though. Yeah. Four for five. Four for five. Not bad. So Not that bad was my all. only one. But that joint was lit. Turn. Turn. That joint was lit. Yeah. Obviously, like they thought they was gonna sweep us because we wasn't even supposed to be there. Like yeah. we started off the year one in fifteen, which was crazy, right? They start off one in fifteen, came back, made the play in, made the play in, and then and won both games, won both games, beat San Antonio, yep, and then, and then went played, and beat the Clippers, Clippers, yes, yeah, that's then, tough, bro. Then so y'all went, did y'all win a game? In we Phoenix? won a game in Phoenix. We won game two. One game two in yep. Yes. They came back. One game three. We won. Y'all moved on. Was Zion we come won back? Game four, huh? Was Zion what even came back? Uh it was said that he was gonna come back if we would have won the first won the first series. Yeah. That would have been versus. Us. It mm. would have been. Yeah. <laughs> Shout out Z too. When he plays. Oh. Oh. Like my God. Nah, nobody, you, nobody can. You can't stop him. You can't stop Z. You can't stop him. You can't stop the Z. man's a yeah. man child. So literally, right? When I he do. get right, yeah, it is gonna be scary for the league. I'm yeah. gonna tell you that right now. Yeah, it's gonna get real spooky. But uh, you get there, you get traded to the Spurs. Talk about how that happened. Well, I know you don't know how it happened, <laughs> but <laughs> where were you in? How that situation? Oh, uh, well, you know, you know how the whole business is. So, yeah, yeah. You know, things start acting kind of funny, mm-hmm. not playing. Yeah. So one day we come in and coach like, "Can you come talk to me before the game?" I'm like, cool. Like, um, we we not gonna play you tonight. We gonna play one of the younger guys for a couple games. Mm. So you know who I call? Yeah, Ty. Ty. No, he's sweating. Hey, Ty. We got we we got problems. Yeah, yeah. And let's so we about to get traded. With something about to happen, mm-hmm. I already knew. Like I could feel the energy. You know what I'm saying? So energy is very right. You can feel that. Yeah, when you, know, you yeah. see you see it happening. Trust me, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I know. You've never been traded mid season though. I ain't never been traded. Oh, I ain't never been traded. I got, I got waves. <laughs> got waves. <laughs> Never been traded. Got waved though. Bro. Oh my God, bro. I got waves. Okay. Okay. That was a, okay. that was okay. a different one. <laughs> Listen, we, we done had two different races, my boy. <laughs> Shout out Run Your Race, but we didn't, we didn't have two different races. That's why we doing Shout this. Shout out Royal Race, <laughs> bro. Shout out Royal Race. Right, damn. <laughs> yeah. yeah right. So, I mean, that was pretty much it. I called Ty. He called me back. He was like, bro, yeah, I mean, I'm going to see if they can. If they're not going to play you, if they don't see you in their future, like, yeah. we're going to see if we can go somewhere else. Where but, you can play, yeah. You get to San Antonio, play the clips. My man goes to Detroit <laughs> and goes crazy. First game. First game. Gets to the Bahamar. No Bahamas. <laughs> oh my God. I remember I texted you. I didn't text you a call. Y'all was like, yo, what's going on with you? There's a lot of frustration that came out that game. For sure. I was like, dang. They almost didn't even let me play. Really? Yeah. So when I got traded, the deadline was at 2.15. Uh-huh. Call me at 2.05. They'd be playing with people's emotions. Right. I'm playing Call of Duty. I'm like, I'm not getting traded. It's no way. Deadline's yeah. over. Ty, oh, they're going to move you to San Antonio. 
I'm like, damn. I really was like, okay, I had already settled down. Like, I ain't getting traded. I'm yeah. just going to accept it. But then he said that. I get another call. Hey, it's a flight at six. We need you to be on it. I was, it's yeah, two o'clock. Like, I gotta duty. go. I gotta mm-hmm. go right now. I gotta get off Call of Duty. Glad, come on. Come on, bro. I got eight kills. <laughs> <laughs> so I fly to Detroit, bro. I don't even get to meet the team because I land like 10, 11. Yeah. So I wake up the next day. I got a loop. I got everything. Mm-hmm. I'm like, am I playing tonight? They're like, we don't know yet. But just be prepared just in case you do. Get to the arena. I got to do all the tests. Check your blood pressure up. Do mm. all of that. My blood pressure high. So they like. Rightfully so. Shit. They like. What's like? What's going on? I'm like, motherfucker. You I eat said, like shit too, though. My whole life just changed overnight. That's true. I'm yeah. stressed. Yeah. I'm stressing right now. Very stressed out. I'm around people I don't know. Yeah. Coaches, I don't know, yeah, except for I mean, pop. Yeah. And I got a game tonight that I didn't plan on having. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm a little stressed. So I had to sit in the room for like an hour, bro. They made me sit there, like, just calm, like, calling doctors, calling, like, my blood pressure was that high that they was yeah. worried. So they once they calmed down a little bit, they was like, okay, you good. They, I, I went and got dressed, like, at, like, the 50-minute mark, like, of the game. What the hell going on? Huh? Why was they doing all that? I don't know. But it was just crazy. That's it was a crazy, crazy day. Yeah. Simone, you tell Simone? No. Oh, it's it's just Simone don't work with us no more. We, <laughs> you know, Simone. We work with Koya. Yeah, I don't need, can't even call Simone no more. <laughs> We're not going to put that on there. I'll just... <laughs> yeah. Oh, we give you a shout out, Simone. Later. <laughs> But, damn, bro, I missed you in the last game of the season. Play the clip. <laughs> had a triple-double on the Spurs, 23-13 and 12. You wasn't there, though. We got smacked. But. <laughs> so, DJ, I want to know this. What is the best high school mixtape in your opinion? Well, it's biased because I'm from North Carolina. Mm-hmm. So It's I'm not little- biased. It's not great right answer. answer. Yeah, go it's ahead. a great answer. Yeah, but everybody want to answer this. Who? Everybody want to say this answer. What, John? Yeah, yeah. I think I, I think that's unanimous. I don't know if we had another like everybody said John Walls, but I'm going to put this out there. I know it's my pod, but a lot of people say my my mixtape is not. <laughs> but look, I'm going to put that out there. Play the clip. <laughs> a lot of people said my mixtape was up there. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and pump the brakes on it. My shit wasn't like John. <laughs> okay. The behind the back yeah. plays yeah. to the left hand yeah. dunks. Yeah. It wasn't like his. Yeah. But I, a kill car Ooh. shit. But he's not better than John's. No. John yeah, He's had really 5'6. I used to watch him all the time. We'll call this the Simone question. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We'll call this the Simone question. And y'all can judge this question how y'all want it. <laughs> what is no. America's basketball team in your opinion? This is actually not a bad question. America's basketball team. America's NBA team? NBA team, yes. The Denver Nuggets. <laughs> <laughs> America's NBA team? Ah. Yeah, I'm going to go with the Knicks. No. The Lakers. Why would you ask me a question that you was going to answer anyway? No, I, 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 I've never answered this question. I'm giving you my opinion. Oh. You could, you could say it's the Knicks, but I think it's the Lakers. You told me no. It's the Lakers. No. I don't. <laughs> I think you're wrong. Why is it the, why is I think it, you're wrong. Why is it the Lakers? So why do you think I'm wrong? Huh? Huh? What do you mean? It's the Mecca. So when, so when you played New Orleans, right? Yeah. When you played in New Orleans, you played in Charlotte, you played uh, San Antonio, you played the Lakers. What team, what fans <laughs> conquered the whole damn arena? 
I'm not gonna lie, Lakers, Boston, Knicks, Knicks and Knicks fans do travel. They I travel. Yeah, Knicks fans do travel. And Knicks Boston fans. too. I never was on the Boston team, so Boston fans didn't really travel to Dallas like that that I can remember. Okay. They traveled to Charlotte. They yeah. traveled to New now, Orleans. Knicks fans definitely go to Miami, bro. When we, when I was with the Knicks, my third year, yeah. we played in Miami. Oh my God! I thought that it was, was a home, home game. I was like, damn, Knicks fans, they like that. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie. Bag talk. <laughs> Who has a deeper bag? Shea Gildas Alexander or Luca? Yeah. Ponder. <laughs> Ponder. Ah. Uh, uh I gotta go Luca. I agree. I was right there with you. There was yeah. a lot of people looking at me like I was fucking stupid. Shay's bag is crazy though. Shay's bag is crazy. Yeah. He gets to the He can't pass like Luca do though. Yeah, no. Not many people can pass like Luca. Yeah. He's one of one. But oh, no, Shay no, no, got no, the no, one on one and the finishing. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And Luca just got, he really got all three levels down packed. Yeah. And maybe Shea might have a post game. He just don't have to do it. Yeah, he don't, he don't, he don't. Uh, he ain't do gonna it. post you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But Luca got all that. Yeah. But yeah. Yeah, man. Hey, I'm excited for you with this new Spurs, this new Spurs uh, opportunity. I mm-hmm. think you're gonna flourish. Uh, you went crazy at the end of the year last year. Get there, have a fresh start. Y'all gotta. Let's go ahead and talk about it. You got Victor Wembenyama. <laughs> Victor Wembenyama. We don't know what he is. <laughs> That's we're just gonna put it out there. What is he? I saw the man shoot a three, chase it, <laughs> and dunk it back. What are you? Uh one on one. He's one on one. For sure. I know you're excited to, I'm about to go him. see him play. Yeah. Boy. Yeah. I'll be tuning in. I'll be watching on TV. I he probably gonna... won't. He probably won't even play that long, to be honest. But I do. Yeah, probably. But we'll see. Man. In the game, we're talking about summer league. The summer league game. Yeah, summer he's gonna league. Yeah. he's gonna play yeah. a very long time in the NBA. Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. Sure. Yeah. But DT, man, I appreciate you coming on with me. God bless. It's bro. been great. Been one of the best podcasts <laughs> we've done because this has been just a great time. Funny as hell. Uh, to everybody in here, let's. Cups up. Everybody got a cup. Get your cup up, Koya. Koya, Simone in here. Hong. Kurt. Shout out to everybody. Mm. <laughs> Listen, that's another episode of Run Your Race. You already know what to do. Tell your moms, your aunties, your uncles, your daddies, everybody. Subscribe on YouTube, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, all that. Detail, once again, thank you for coming on. My dog. Been a blast. And we out. Peace. Man.